saying? How you guys doing? Uh, this is my, uh, uh, what are you going to say? My vlog number two. The day after um, a very good win uh, for Brimmer. Uh, we played Worcester Academy yesterday. And uh, we had some tremendous performances. Um, I guess I got to start with uh, Stone McLaren was uh, incredible yesterday. It was 14 points, 10 rebounds. He had a couple assists, but it was it was more than just that. It was it was it was the energy. He did what he could do. Like he wasn't trying to like do a whole bunch of stuff that was not in his capabilities and what he could do he did very well so I gotta give him a lot of props uh, for that uh, next unbelievable game out of Jimmy Fentopoulos in his first double-a game I mean the kid pr played like a veteran like like he had been uh, playing at this level for years uh, he had five threes he, uh, he did everything. Stole the ball. He made highlight plays. A beautiful alley -oop pass to AJ from half court. I mean, it just uh, the, it, the went on and on and on. It was the contributions he made. Um, AJ Reeves hit another three threes at 18 points. He was saddled in foul trouble, but yet he scored 13 first half points, uh, which led us to a 21 point halftime lead. I mean, if you don't do those things in the first half, because, uh, you know, we have a lot of discussions between uh, us at Ballers TV and, and uh, even Vin Pastoria, the rivals. We talk about when the pressure is on, how do you perform? What do you do then? Not when the game is in doubt, because then you can you can pad your stats and you can get in and it's less pressure. But like when the game is on the line, um, how, how do you do then? And uh, I got to say that AJ was really good um, at, at, at that juncture, you know. And besides, going to get a lot of attention. So, open it up for Jimmy. Jaquan Mills, great floor game. Seven assists. Also had 14 points. Hit big threes when we need it. I mean, it's the team what we are. I mean, we we, we, we made a determination of who we're going to be. And we play like it. And uh, Jaquan was, uh, he made big shots when he needed to. He ran the team. And uh, he was a senior leader. Um, so, it was fantastic to see. Um... Uh, after that, you gotta you gotta tip your hat to the other kids who um, played their hearts out. Dylan Ringo, Ringo played his behind off, um, did what he could do. Ethan, uh, Dylan actually scored his first varsity points. It was an and one pass from AJ Reeves. It was fantastic. And uh, Ethan, we can't even say he is everything you want as a coach for a high school kid, and uh, it's phenomenal. Those two kids are running around with their hair off, flying all over the place. It's great to see. You come to our game, you you look and you see us with our seven players, eight players, and and you say they're gonna get killed, and then and then they go out there and play with such passion and, and heart and determination. Um, I was very proud of Grant Uliano and the way that he went and got rebounds. Uh, we're gonna need that from him. Uh, he's gonna make some threes as we go along this way, but the fact that he played big and and can play those minutes and. Again, a lot of a lot of guys playing their very very first knapsack game, and uh, you know, I was talking to Sherwin Cooper, and he he actually couldn't believe he's like Dylan Regal is not afraid, and and that's amazing. Um, that he's not afraid to go out there and make plays, and uh, that's a testament to the way those guys have worked, and the camaraderie and the leadership between Jaquan and AJ, and what they've been able to do for those guys. So. Vlog number two, we got our first win ever against Worcester Academy since I've been a Bremer coach. Uh, story program, Jamie, their team was, was deep and talented and young, like I said. They came to play. Um, they just ran up against a, a group of people that were hungry and wanted to win. And, and I, I tip my cap to them. They're going to surprise people. They're going to actually play better as the year goes on. And, that, and that group of kids are going to get better and play better. So, um... We take on St. Seb's on Friday, so I'll be back. Stay dialed in. Stay tuned, again, for what we're doing. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, um, Any Ball Academy. That stands for New England Ball Academy. New England Ballers, we always the same. We never change. Uh, 
Big ups to everybody that came to the game. Burma crowd was amazing. And uh, uh, I got to say, Villanova was in the house. BC was in the house. Uh, the fans were in the house. Uh, fans that were coming to see Worcester Academy showed up. Um, so it was fantastic. KJ Baptiste was on my bench. He helped out tremendously. And oh, I got to give a lot of credit to Scott Forrest. He holds it down for us. And, uh, you know, you can follow me at any ball academy dot, um, any ball academy on twitter uh, you can follow me on facebook tom nelson and uh you can always follow go see uh my man scott ford he's very very good at basketball he's been a tremendous asset okay i'm out see you guys in a couple days bye